Happy Monday, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kelsey, and I'm trying to lose 100 pounds. That is why this channel exists. Um, and every Monday, I do a what I eat in a day. So welcome to my what I eat in a day. I am still in my PJs because I work from home and I can do what I want. So I'm starting off the day with coffee. It's like 10, I think, um, and I've just been working for the morning, you know, work from home, thanks. And I made a coffee a couple minutes ago. And she is delicious, wonderful, perfect, and beautiful. It is one tablespoon of brown sugar, a little cinnamon, and milk, like M-A-L-K, vanilla almond milk. And a shot of, actually it's two shots of espresso, but it's the Nespresso uh, Dulce pod which is very good and I really like it. Um, today is start of a new week. I need to reset after the weekend, to be honest. So that's what I'm doing. I'm getting all of my shit done. I'm finishing my to-do list. I am ready to tackle the week ahead. And this coffee is going to help me do that. And it tastes so good. Um, so yeah, that, that, hello, welcome to my channel. That's the beginning of this video. I am going to keep working. I'm not sure what I'm having for breakfast, but I do make meal plans every week. So, um, I'm just going to look at that and it's going to tell me what I'm going to eat. If you want to see me make the meal plans, I also post those videos. I haven't posted, um, this week's yet, but it is going up by the time it will be up by the time you see this video. So if you want to see what I'm going to eat, you want to see how I plan them, go watch that video. Um, yeah, but I'm not quite hungry yet. I kind of like to chill in the morning, drink my coffee, you know, vibe, and then I'll eat. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to load up on the water today. I just, I really have to focus on that <laughs> or it doesn't get, it doesn't get drank. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm doing wanted to pop in and say this is how we're starting my day and I will let you guys know what I eat for breakfast momentarily. This is my very yellow, we're calling this breakfast but it is really lunch because it's like 1 p.m. now. Um, but yeah, it's just an egg scramble and a banana with Melinda's hot sauce on top. So that's what I'm having now. I am officially on my lunch break so I can sit down and enjoy this. It is much later now. It's like four o'clock and um, the day really did get away from me but I'm having lunch finally and I sue me I'm a meal repeater um I just didn't have it in me to come up with something new but here she is here she is sweet potato toast um this is kind of what they look like before you make them look nice <laughs> but you slice sweet potato really thin and then I put greek yogurt almond butter cinnamon chia seeds honey and blueberries on the top and then you eat it like a piece of toast it's so good. Um, and you can change it up with the toppings, but I didn't want to because this one is so good. So that's what I'm eating. I have a spin class at six, so I won't eat again. Um, but I'm gonna try to drink some more water because I have not done good with that either today. But um, yeah, that's what I'm eating. I hope you guys like, and I swear, I know it's so weird, but you have to trust me, you have to try it. Obviously, if you don't like sweet potatoes, probably not gonna like this, um, but you can get so creative with the toppings. And I'm eating this again, it's on my meal plan again for Thursday, and I'll try to like concoct a fun new recipe so I can show you guys and we can try um, together. But yeah, you have to try. I literally, you need it if you like sweet potatoes. But you can, oh, you can do so much. You can do like avocado toast with it. You can make it um, savory instead of sweet. It's just incredible. I'm back from spin and I'm cooking dinner now. So we're having turkey burgers with fries. And um, yeah, that's that's really it. Don't mind the, the, the egg look. But we're having just plain burgers. This is like a pound of turkey um, with an egg, Worcestershire sauce, seasoning, so on and so forth. And then the potatoes, I just cut up really thin, seasoned them, oiled them, and put them on a cookie sheet. And they're cooking. I will obviously show you when they're done. Um, but I'm also having a sneaky little white claw because we're human and that's what happens. I also forgot to mention earlier today when um, in between the sweet potato toast and the egg scramble, I tasted one of the egg 
bites, egg cups, egg things that I made. So I also ate that and I forgot to show you. But they were really good and I would really recommend that recipe. I bake them on 350 for like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Kind of depends on your oven, but that's, it, it was really good. And you can like change up the seasonings and the ingredients and stuff and they're really good. So I'm going to cook these. I will show you once they are all together. I'm probably going to do like some lettuce, maybe some barbecue sauce. We'll see what I add on. I'm not sure just yet. Okay, dinner is served. Ketchup for the fries. They look delish. And then I ended up with pickled jalapenos, primal kitchen mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard. We did do cheese, whoops, and lettuce on the bun. And that's what we're having. So excited, I'm so hungry. We decided to make cookies. And we tried to go a little healthier than regular cookies. So we made paleo cookies, but um, we made a few tweaks. So we used sunflower butter instead of a nut butter because my fiance is allergic to nuts. So that was a change. And then we subbed almond flour for regular flour because I figured that was probably fine, but that makes it technically not paleo. But regardless, we're hoping that they're really good. I tasted the dough and it was delicious. Um, so that's what we have going on. I'm hopeful, scared but hopeful. These are the cookies and they are so delicious. Absolutely recommend. I will put the link to the recipe that I loosely followed um, in the description of this video because I, they're actually very good and I would recommend. Um, yeah, so that's what that's what we are having for dessert. They're very rich, but they're delicious. Um, I would make them again for sure, but the sea salt is like you need the sea salt on top. Um, well, that's what I ate today. Thanks for following along. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening and I will see you in my next video.